So my first encounter with BBC Micro was at home. Um, my father, uh, when I was little, was working for IBM, uh, their HQ in North Harbour near Portsmouth. And uh, so he, he was working with computer te technology already. Um, and he bought us for use at home uh, the BBC Micro with a tape deck. Um, so we would spend uh, many a long minute waiting for games to load using the, the cassette deck. Um, for, for, for that and um, and but also I did dabble a little bit with the programming a um, little bit of basic uh, using the, the the user guide for for the BBC micro so I did start to get familiar at quite a young age um, with what programming a computer was all about and then that led on basically to uh, you know knowing um, how how to use the BBC micro when it turned up in my primary school um, I remember it mainly in the sort of junior years, I think. Um, but uh, certainly one of the things that does stick well in my mind when we when we talk about the micro at, at primary school was the use of um, uh, the turtle, the programmable turtle. And I'm, I'm sure it had a specific name, but what I do remember is we were able to program commands in using the BBC micro and off it would go around the room, much to our amusement. So, um, so yeah, so at home, um, dabbling, playing games, um, and at school, certainly learning how to program and, and um, you know, word processing, I think, was another thing we certainly did at, at primary school as well. So, yeah, getting the first taste of um, seeing my words printed on a piece of paper. So that was exciting. And then that led me on to secondary school. And secondary school we, um, had moved on from the BBC Micro. We're getting into the sort of early to mid 90s now. But um, that ages me, obviously. But uh, we were using PS1s by then. Um, but, you know, by this stage, having, you know, having spent... Um, getting on for nearly 10 years being familiar with what a computer was I was certainly very happy with um, you know sort of getting to grips with um, you know using computers for my schoolwork and and um, I did a an information technology GCSE and an information technology A level and then that led on to um, I did my degree in meteorology which was maths and physics but uh, I did some IT modules as well um, I was still finding that programming was not my forte um, but, you know, I was familiar enough and comfortable enough with the programming languages that, you know, I could, I, I wouldn't be phased by, um, you know, sort of that sort of language if I needed to be, um, you know, if I needed to, to do anything in that regard. So HTML, I did a little bit of and uh, Visual Basic as well. Um, but certainly, you know, my strength is in the, the end product, the WYSIWYG um, of a computer. Um, but I say I, I don't think I would have had as much, um, you know, um, Success. I don't think I would have been as comfortable throughout my, my my schooling and my career using computers if it wasn't for a really early introduction. So I think it's really really important, um, and I hope to do the same for my daughters. You know, and introduce them to computer technology as early as possible so that they get the best start and uh, for the future as well. I thought it was cool because you you could play games on it. That you know, it was this. It was like nothing I'd seen before it was you know you could make it you know print your name that was that was quite exciting and even though as I say I didn't have an aptitude for programming I think that the rewards you know the, the feeling of seeing you know it, it do what you asked it to do um was, was quite something I think and, and I did really um yeah I mean I can't specifically remember um you know sort of getting interested in this statistics of it at the, at the time or you know it's you know its capabilities as such I, w I was quite small when we first had it you know sort of only about sort of six seven or something like that um but uh yeah I just I, I think at that age I think it was the games probably that was was, was the fun thing <laughs> the mere fact we had the turtle in the room um it did feel like there was a definite desire to get us familiar and get us using this in in, in, a, in a positive way um, I didn't I didn't ever get a sense I don't think the teachers were were sort of struggling to to get their heads around it or anything like that um, I suspect perhaps we had you know good instructions or something that had been prepared or that but it did feel that that they were very sort of useful constructive you know times that we were able to spend you know playing with it 
and the only downside was there was only one of them so you know we had to crowd around and <laughs> um take our turns and things like that so um but certainly when we did have a go I, I, I do remember it being um you know a good good fun really In the end, I think well, they were just starting to bring IT in as a routine thing um, as I was leaving secondary, but I, did, I was able to do a, an information technology GCSE. And then I did information technology A-level as well, and they were certainly my strongest subjects, and I put that down to you know good early and consistent exposure um, with computer technology, especially the BBC Micro. <laughs> <laughs>